welcome everyone to the launch of the Knowledge for Health web portal. We have a distinguished panel here this afternoon, and after their presentations, we invite you to stay for refreshments and at 3 p.m., a technical presentation of the K4Health Toolkit software. Our panel today includes Gloria Steele, Acting Assistant Administrator for Global Health, Ambassador James Michael, the Agency Counselor, Stacy Rhodes, Chief of Staff of the Peace Corps, Peggy Diadimo, Technical Advisor to the K4Health Project, and Scott Radloff, Director of the Office of Population and Reproductive Health. I'm Elizabeth Scheneker, Chief of the Policy Evaluation and Communication Division in the Office of Population. So let's get things started. I'm going to turn the floor over to Gloria Steele, the Acting Assistant Administrator for Global Health, who will introduce Ambassador Michael. Thank you very much, Liz. And I'd like to welcome everyone and thank you so much for coming here today. This is a very exciting day for us. We've been waiting for this day for several months now, so I'm glad we're finally here. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, we are, it is my honor and my pleasure to introduce our special guest, our keynote speaker, Ambassador Michael. Ambassador Michael, Ambassador Jim Michael, is the counselor to the USAID, and he just returned um, from working in the private sector after nine years returned to us. He has held many very distinguished positions in the public sector in the past few years, and I won't go over through all of them, just mention a few of them. Ambassador Michael was our U.S. Ambassador to Guatemala in 1987, from 1987 to 1989. <clears throat> he was the Acting Deputy Administrator and Administrator of USAID from 1992 to 1993. He was Chair of the Development Assistance Committee of the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, where he presided over the Principal International Forum for Donor Policy and Coordination. He was also the Deputy Legal Advisor, the U.S. State, uh, Department of State, um, before that, in 1997, 1977 to 1982. With that, I'd like to ask Ambassador Michael to take the form. Thank you. Okay. Gloria, thank you very much uh, for, that, for that kind introduction. I'm, I'm really very happy uh, to be here with you today. Uh, for this launch of the K4 Health Project uh, web portal. Uh, I am especially pleased that uh, I'm able to welcome Stacy Rhodes uh, back to USAID, <laughs> if only for a few hours. Uh, Stacy and I uh, worked together uh, originally in the Legal Advisor's Office in the yeah. State Department, and we've uh, had a long association since then uh, involving uh, the Caribbean, Latin American Caribbean Bureau and, and USAID where the two of us worked along with, with Aaron Williams and uh, also on some Millennium Challenge uh, compact uh, business and uh, even in the formation of the USAID Alumni Association until I no longer was able to qualify as an alumnus. <laughs> uh, Stacy's a committed and a dedicated uh, development professional as well as a good friend. Uh, Stacy. so it's, I'm really pleased to, to welcome you Thanks, here man. in your new capacity as Chief of Staff of the Peace Corps and also as family and as a representative of many partners and networks with whom USAID collaborates. Uh, we very much appreciate the role of the Peace Corps volunteers and other collaborators outside USAID who work with governments and with civil society in the capitals and in the communities in the countries where we work. You play an essential role in helping to put local stakeholders at the center of development and helping us to align our cooperation with local priorities, needs, and capabilities. The Knowledge for Health Project really is an outstanding example of USAID's knowledge management efforts, efforts to make knowledge available in ways that can be easily understood shared and used. The new web portal is going to help us reach more people more efficiently to provide them with information they need and also to help us learn from them 
to apply lessons learned and to identify and disseminate best practices. This portal uses the latest communication technologies. I have only a vague notion of what crawling the web means, but I, I sort of grasp the concept. And it's, this, is, this is, you know, you don't have to load it all up. It's there. It finds it. And uh, this will foster two-way exchanges. It will facilitate joint learning. It will allow us to share experience, including South-South sharing. And this knowledge sharing, in turn, will help local efforts to scale up and have national and regional impact and avoid wasteful duplication and reinvention of wheels. You know, knowledge management is really crucial to the development mission. The opportunity to receive input directly from people working in communities, like the Peace Corps volunteers, is especially exciting and needs to be seen as an empowering approach that can have many applications to help achieve better development results. I want to interject a word about the context in which we're launching this new tool. I've been deeply involved in USAID's participation in, this is in one of those long terms, the Quadrennial Diplomacy and Development Review. Aficionados call it the QDDR. And in this experience, I've been impressed by the relevance of the five themes being addressed by QDDR to the administration's principal development-oriented initiatives. The five QDDR working groups, including one that's co-chaired by Gloria Steele with uh, Under Secretary of State Maria Otero, are focused on, first, the global architecture for cooperation. Second, the internal architecture, whole government solutions to complex problems. Investing in stronger societies, the whole capacity agenda. Preventing and responding to crises. And building our management structures and systems, like knowledge management, to meet our needs. Now, all of these themes are relevant in the case of the Global Health Initiative. Good health requires education, it requires economic opportunity, it requires good governance, and it will require that our diplomacy and our development cooperation pay attention to the global architecture, to the whole of government solutions, to the stronger societies, to the crisis prevention and response, and to sound management structures and systems. Sustainable results can't be achieved by stovepiping. We keep saying that. And with the help of this study in QDDR and the companion study under the Presidential Study Directive of Development Policy, I have high hopes that we are going to make our practice and our <laughs> rhetoric really coincide on approaching these issues in a comprehensive way and uh, uh, by paying attention to all of those QDDR themes. What you're doing with the K-4 Health Project will contribute to improved performance in our efforts in the health field. But the innovation you're bringing to knowledge management will also contribute to greater effectiveness of the broader effort to make continued progress in confronting all the complex challenges of development. So congratulations on achieving this milestone in making knowledge easier to find, easier to communicate, and easier to use in furtherance of development results. Thank you for your dedicated efforts to improve health and to place an advanced capacity for knowledge management in the service of sustainable human development. Thank you very much.